that going on? What Washington is smothered by right now is this. The freaking sequester, <sighs> which Congress and the White House agreed to, which they almost unanimously agree would be a terrible thing to inflict on the country, and which they could just decide not to do simply by repealing it, but apparently they're not going to repeal it. The White House taking every opportunity now to spell out the harm that this thing is going to do to the country. They put out fact sheets on the hundreds of thousands of jobs expected to be lost with workers in every state. Uh, the TSA is warning that air travel is going to become a nightmare. The president today at a shipyard in Newport News talking about the devastating expected effect, particularly on areas that are heavily economically dependent on the military. The Republican Speaker of the House today, for his part, demanding that the Senate fix it, that they get off their starts with A, rhymes with bass, and do something to stop this thing. Because he's not going to. It looks like it's going to happen, even though this is a purely voluntary thing. Because, eh, why not inflict wanton damage on the country and throw millions of people out of work? Why not? The animating principle, the animating fear or assertion or argument behind this roundhouse punch to our own face is supposedly the deficit, right? There's so much worry about the out of control spiraling deficit that we must punch ourselves in the face like this. These cuts won't really make a difference in the deficit, but by agreeing to lose this game of chicken and go flying off this cliff, punching ourselves in the face all the way down, we will somehow show symbolic commitment or something to turn around our out of control deficit. That, I guess, is the idea. Here, I guess, is the deficit. Here's what it was when Barack Obama took office in 2009, in the midst of the worst economic freefall since the Great Depression. Then, here's the deficit in 2010. And here it is for the next year, yeah, and here it is for last year, yep, and here's the track for this year. Yeah, see how it's spiraling out of control? See how much it's growing higher and higher all the time? Yeah, no, actually down is not up, night is not day, and the deficit is getting smaller. It's dropped by hundreds of billions of dollars during Barack Obama's presidency. We are currently experiencing the fastest deficit reduction in several generations, and nobody knows it. We're in the midst of a major national crisis, self-imposed, brought on by fear and loathing and worry and outrage over the supposed state of the deficit, and 90% of the country is wrong about what the state of the deficit is. And I'm not saying 90% is a made-up, rounded, hyperbolic number. That's the actual number. Look. Bloomberg News just polled on this. Is it your sense that this year the deficit is getting bigger or getting smaller or staying about the same as last year? 62% of Americans say the deficit is getting bigger. 28% of Americans say the deficit is staying about the same. You add those up, 62 plus 28, that's 90% of the country that gives a wrong answer to that question. So how many Americans know the right answer? The proportion of the American public who knows the correct answer, which is that the deficit is getting smaller, is 6%. Total.